Why is it important to create a second account, a new account, in order to do the gifting event? Why the hell are you talking about the gifting event now? Well, I think this is a very good talking point. It's gonna, this video is going to have two parts to it. It's going to have a part where I return back to my old uh, free-to-play account, although it's kind of weird having like two accounts which are te technically like non-spending, but... It is what it is, uh, but yeah, like over the course of last year, especially in December, we were kind of hit with this particular message here, which was the gifting event. Again, for people, probably find it weird me talking about the gifting event. It's all about preparation. Why? Because making a new account and also the way that people exchange units between one another, one another's accounts or their own accounts uh, in order to be safe has been a very important process that players have done for a little while. If you remember last year, this was a big talking point for a video that Brian Grant made called Huge Gifting Exploit, which looked at the way of getting 200,000 uh, units uh, in the space of a you know small space of time, uh, but also you would need to invest your own personal time in this into this particular kind of like uh, thing, which uh, is, is there's a bit of a fine art to it, and look, you I would have to really want to just like grind out the game exponentially and also kind of like have you know that's just taking up a lot of your time. I say that whilst running uh, my main account in the background that's auto fighting through lower difficulties to get units at the same time. You, means to an end, people, it's a means to an end. Although I've got the lovely little connection sign which you can see right there on screen. Uh, which kind of indicates that Kabam are doing a stellar job. Well done, Kabam. Uh, please sort this out. It's just not interesting and not fun at the same time. But look, creating a new account is very important. If you want to exchange units, get loads of units with limited amount of effort, but you have to get up to level 40, number one. Uh, and number two, you have to get up to Conqueror by completing Act 4. And I've created the account as of last year. It was by November 2021. Do bear in mind, I suspect the same requirements may be the same as last year. I would say as well that maybe Kabam are going to make this more... I'd say difficult to achieve. They may even, rather than saying Conqueror, they may kind of say like Uncollected. Not to say 100% they will do that. I just, it's one of these feelings with Kabam. And look, you know, with a track record that Kabam have, they may look to change these particular things. So the reason I mention this now is get grinding people. Go and uh, create a new account if you're indeed looking to uh, to kind of get yourself some some free units and also some uh, some like more kind of efficient swap between your particular account and another and it's handy for other things uh, if you are going to be like looking to achieve and that's the thing it would have been good to do some of this now over the uh the summoner the summoner camp type uh thing that would have been good like do that summoner camp uh z but it would be would able to be getting units but it is what it is so i'm returning back to an old account that i had which i do plan to do some content on uh, at least through August and September. I'm busy with other stuff personally, so I can't kind of exchange like a lot of time to do this, but I do want to be able to redo my guides. And I think going through uh, an exploration as you were would be kind of like a good thing uh, to do. Also just noticing that's great. I've been disconnected right there. I thought command dealt with this bug, but um, obviously not. I just want to like go back to my new account and kind of like see it on my, my level 17 account and see what's kind of uh, been on offer. As you say with most things is make sure to kind of utilize the sigil for the most that you have it. And that was a long time ago I had that. And uh, it's just an announcing of certain things. Answer the call of the Valkyrie, which is, you know, that particular quest there. Not interested with that. And a few new people are kind of like, add, hello people. And uh, all these kind of updates, annual crystal, summoner resort, now accepting members, look to the stars, stuff like that. And also we've got other things, uh, free kitten day profile picture. Uh, thank you, that's a thing. Claim your free Thor, so you can get a two star Thor. Uh, I don't think I have the Ragnarok version, so I guess I'll grab that at the same time. If it loads, come on, there we go. It's interesting to note what Paul the Boy got. Now, Paul the Boy did not pick up anything when it came to compensation. And I, maybe it's the case like it came and expired. And maybe that's kind of like on me for not kind of like checking it out. Especially as I pop open uh, some three stars. Getting Shang-Chi is, uh, is nice nice enough to kind of like grab that. But uh, yeah, uh, I think that uh, that would have been a good opportunity for the account to be kind of um, working a little bit more towards the future. But it's... Um, it's not something I could have concerned myself too much about uh, right in the beginning. But 
I mean, starting off, like what I need to be doing is focusing on some of the content, maybe some of the uh, the side quests, and maybe some of the event things uh, that follows, especially from what uh, I can get back from doing normal difficulty. But that low energy threshold is uh, normally a stumbling block, especially if you're using a secondary account to uh, to kind of like farm some units, and especially from just doing auto fighting. The most en the more energy you have, the better very early on, especially from you know a farming based account. So my progression will be all about going to stimulate the level growth, which is only on 17 at the moment. And the more work I do has to be for the the better, and seeing where my champions are up to, especially because like at level at level 25 is when everything unlocks. And I'm very fortunate to have myself a little bit of a Corvus Glaive uh, that I can see myself glaving through. Good glavening myself through uh, some of the earlier content. At the moment I have reached a slight stumbling block in the uh, strength of my champions. But also the device that I'm using. So as I'm running like two devices that's one issue that I'm using a phone that's just definitely not like up to scratch. An iPhone 7 Plus from 2016 is definitely not going to cut it when it comes to like uh, performance and uh, inputs. I think I'm going to like upgrade this to my iPhone 11 Pro which is just over there charging at the moment but uh, availability in that is uh, is important of like what devices you've got so I'm going to be switching over to that phone uh, for my second account just to make sure that things can be like um, responsive and we get performance there. Uh, look at this like I've, I need to kind of get my Mangog up but it's kind of good to have something that's like a strong first champion and especially something with Mangog because he can uh, deal with some some like buffs with his stagger so that's nice okay that's cool I'm able to kind of like feel confident in the team creation and start really kind of putting stuff together Corvus is still pretty good for me because he's good on awakened and uh, I don't know if I can awaken anything. I probably got like a sneaky yes, I've got an awa one awakening gem. So I'm gonna have to think very carefully about that as to like when's the next time I'm able to get certain things. And I should go grinding in a moment, uh, especially to look at what is currently um, what is on with the various dailies. And that's one of the good things because the dailies have been kind of improved. It does mean that I can then get what I need from it. So if I go, okay, if I need a tier three from it, then I'll just go into uh, the hard mode and then I go with the team and go and uh, grab myself um, the cosmics I require in order to rank up. So, uh, so that's good. That's actually been since we've, since I've kind of like come back to this, uh, the second account today and since the last time I played it, which I, I think was uh, last year, I think like November time, December time last year, uh, it's been something that's been added into the game and improved the game. So that is a positive, that's a very positive step in the right direction uh, for this. So that's what I'm going to do. But it's good as well at lower levels, you're able to kind of like smash through like things that like level up and all the other different types of uh, 22 hour events more easily just by doing the little kind of like level ups of Mangog that I did. I was able to pick up uh, the revive and the health potion and the 25 units so that's all great that's all going to be uh, helpful and uh, three star signature stones nice I, I kind of decided that I, well what i will do with with paul the boy which is the alt count's name is actually go and 100 percent through act 6.3.2 3.1 and 3.2 i think that's probably the, the best thing to do is kind of like go Go back, do those things, get the little morsels of um, crystals that I can get, enhance and improve a team, which again is probably the most important thing. Stimulate to try and get a second four star, which my first star was first four star was Mangog, which I think I got really lucky. I don't if I if I was recording it, uh, then I'll put on screen like a crystal that I just randomly opened as a revive on my route. Nice. Uh, although I did hear that Act 3 is not giving out as many revives. I'm going to do that, explore that in a separate video uh, with the main account. Because I just kind of think we'll get more of a, an idea on those particular things. So, if I remember rightly, is it Heavy Attack or Armor Break? Okay, it's Heavy Attack with Armor Break. And I was actually wondering, what I think it's like, is it on the SP1 um, instead? No, because the uh, AI is just weird. Well, the device that I'm using, this 2016 device, which is now six years old, by the way, is barely clinging on to life on, uh, on kind of like response time and uh, and stuff. But it is what it is. And I don't know if I've got any energy. That's one thing that I kind of feel like whether or not we have any kind of like improved energy uh, for. I think I've got some like a spare. But in any case, I want to wrap up this video in a second. As I said, there was two parts to this one. Me returning back to my old account to kind of figure out what I was going to do with it. But also that kind of reminder of like, okay, prepare 
for this and also next month there should be some time uh, because I should achieve uh, Paragon a lot sooner than I think and uh, therefore I don't need to kind of like focus on anything else and uh, yeah probably do like a top tips on how to be Paragon as free to play video and then take it from there uh, let's just see if I can I, the inputs are not particularly great yeah and that was that was one thing I worried about the um, heavy attack but also the inputs again like I'm, I'm, not, I'm just not getting it and all the inputs are all wonky this is this is the problem with uh, I think next time when I kind of return back to this account I will play it on a different device because I got no inputs uh, I just got no inputs on this it's 2016 it's like it's barely able to run the game <laughs> the name of the game is to create an old account for farming units whether or not you're doing what I'm doing here which is I've got my main account which is uh, farming units in lower areas of the game or I've got this kind of uh, farming units from just going through the story mode quest if I want to if I do plan to use that particular account further with anything else and yes okay the units would be kind of best saved for those kind of things but by doing monthly based content you're able to get at least doing normal and heroic auto fighting if you can get up to that and further you can pick up 300 plus units a month just by doing that and more from going to different areas as well so there's kind of loads of different options available for you whether or not you want to play on a janky 2016 device uh, or something a bit more modern which is well i say that and this is like about 2018 or something either way nothing really kind of like past and nothing behind 2020 runs this game uh, in quality so you know that's something kabam should really kind of tell people what devices are good for this game but in any case good luck in your grind of preparing for uh, the uh, not cyber weekend well it's that but mainly kind of like gifting event and also creating an alt account in order to kind of like benefit yourself when it comes to sharing uh, gifts with your own uh, but yeah thanks very much for watching hope you're doing well hopefully you find the time to create another account and go through certain things but to be honest once you hit a certain title edge and you don't want to go any further chill out for a while do something else over the summer period thanks for watching this video have a great day check out some live streams that are going to be out later on and i'll see you soon Bye bye